What was that, RS3? That was a full AFK boss fight. The most common question asked in RuneScape is, how do I make money? Welcome to Tutorial Island to Twisted Bow, a series where I start from scratch with nothing and farther the account each and every episode with questing, bossing, skilling, and combat. We will hopes to one day achieve the Twisted Bow. After watching this series, you should no longer ask yourself, how do I make money in RuneScape? Hey guys, it's No Help, and welcome to episode 15 of Tutorial Island to Twisted O. Episode 15 already, guys. We've made a decent amount of progress. Um, this episode, we're going to do a lot more Slayer, start working on some farming, do some questing, some birdhouse runs as usual, and, you know, make some more money. So if you guys like the video, make sure to smash the like button. On with the video. All right, so we got the, we finished the Hellhound task and we are 94, oh, never mind, 3k XP away from another Slayer level. We got a unique lamp as well for, you know, rune crafting right there and two brimstone keys. So let's go ahead and open these up right here. Some money, money, money. Ooh, decent amount right there, over 100k. And holy shit, guys, that's some lucky. So we made 200k off those two keys and let's get the next assignment all right Connor let's try that again um I think I'm a little weak 60 range for that um let's go let's go greater demons I didn't know you had greater demons there my friend and we just hit the 69 slayer there's this plugin right here called NPC aggression timer and it's amazing because you can afk and then when I need when the monsters monsters aren't aggro anymore I can just run outside of this box anywhere in this box and they will become aggressive again. Very useful, thank you DVS for showing me that. All right, Konar, we got one brimstone key. What are you gonna give me? What are you gonna give me? 28 rubies. So apparently the leagues are gonna be delayed till January. Saw that one coming, Jagex. But uh, yeah, so that means we're gonna go for 75 Slayer as soon as possible so we can start camping gargoyles, making a shit ton of money and progressing the account even farther. So what is the next assignment? Hellhounds right back. Thank you, sir nice 70 mining i've been so focused on my iron man lately that i've just been afking but uh that's two levels until we can get the upper floor that's that's insane like i can't even like i just want to get 72 right now all right so i was just recruiting somebody to the clan and welcome and then this other guy right here little bro uh he was like i like your videos as well started watching a week ago thank you so much that's awesome <laughs> really cool when you're inviting someone else and then someone else is like oh my god that's you that's that's cool 71 mining one level away till the top or the next floor i'm pretty sure anyways right um yeah mother load mine upper level i hope we have enough nuggets by then we should but uh yeah it's still like another 84 gigs oh my god Ah, oh, there we finally go. 72 mining. We can do the, the salt as well. And I'm pretty sure that is the level for, let me just quickly check here, upper level of the modeled mine. So no more of this. Let's check if we have all the nuggets. And then that's going to be the new AFK spot when we're not questing or doing Slayer or something like that. We'll just passively get mining over time and make a lot of AFK money until Amethyst at least. All right, so this is what the ores are actually looking at so far. Actually, really not too bad. We're almost at 3,000 golds, 2,000 mithrils, 100, 100 adamants, a little bit of iron. I think that's from something else, though, and 8,000 coal. So just the ores is over 2 million GP now. So we've, uh, how far are we off the dragon axe value? Um, we've almost made back the entire dragon pickaxe. So that's really good. So I'm going to go ahead and talk to this guy right here and unlock the, uh, is there anything else I can unlock here? And let's do the restricted mining access for 100 nuggets. And now as well, we can start buying the mining outfit pieces. This one's 60, 40, 30, and 50. So I guess we'll buy, how much is the helmet? 40? I guess we'll buy the helmet first and uh yeah keep mining let's go let's go let's finish this outfit 
I'm going to start a bunch of questing. There we go. Tears of Guthix is completed. 1k crafting experience and one quest point. Now, can I just start this as well? I'm not sure. I think we have to talk to her. I'm not sure what my lowest skill is actually, but uh, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Now, I know I'm not going to get too much because we don't have any quest points or anything like that. But, uh, I mean, every little bit of XP helps, you know, and I don't even really know what my lowest skill is. So, it should be kind of interesting. Maybe, like, rune crafting or something like that. I actually don't. Oh, um, you know what? It's probably going to be farming. Yeah, I don't know. All right, I think that's it. 74 tiers. I don't know if that's good or anything. Let's check how much XP we're going to get. I should probably be doing this on my Iron Man account as well, but... Uh... Oh, it's actually herb lore. Not too bad. Up to level 22 herb lore. I don't know what we actually had at the start of that, but uh, yeah, now we can go to, I think it's called uh, Death to Dorigen. Yeah, something like that. And there we go. Death to the Dorigen has been complete. One quest point access to the all the shit. I think the crossbow and stuff as well. 1k or 2k thieving in 2k range. Are we going to get any levels from that? 34 thieving coming in as well. And now I believe that is a requirement for another slice of ham. I'm just kind of like going in order here, doing quests kind of at random. But uh, yeah, I'm going to try to get a lot of them done so we can do, you know, get all the good ones done. Like Barrow's Gloves and stuff like that. So I'm pretty sure we can do this one now. Um, yeah, let's just knock it out. And that's another slice of ham. One quest point, 3k mining, 3k prayer, ancient mace, and some other shit. All right, not too bad. Up to 112 quest points now. All right, let's just go down the list. Can we do this one? Nope. Can we do between a rock? Nope. Big chompy bird hunting. All right, looks like we can do that one. Big chompy bird hunting is done. Two quest points, 1400 cooking, 700 range, 200 fletching, an ogre bow, and the ability to make ogre arrows. Uh, gonna be good for the future of this account if I ever, you know, do the chompies and stuff like that. But anyways, you know what it's time for next. Cabin fever. I don't think we can do that one. Client of Karend. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna do this one. What a decent quest to get out of the way. There's a lot of requirements that needed this one. So one quest point, two unique lambs, a certificate, which uh, I think when you use on Piscarillus, I heard that one was like definitely by far the worst. So... That's from 0 to 20% Piscarillus right off the, the bat, which is amazing. And yeah, so let's go ahead and use these on rune crafting, obviously. 500 rune crafting. I think that's a level. Oh yeah, 33 rune crafting. Not too bad. Four air runes at once. All right, use the next one on rune crafting as well. And we now have this book, which I love this book on my Iron Man. It helps you get around here so much easier. I think I'm going to have to charge it though, but... Uh, Passions game as well, my guy. Holy. All right, so I was going to do Clock Tower, and it said, bring a bucket of water or a pair of ice gloves. And I thought, you know what? That is the perfect time to get the ice gloves. So here we are killing the Ice Queen. Place looks crazy in HD. And, you know, I'm going to need this for the Blast Furnace one day anyway, so I figured I would get these now. So, yeah. Love to see that uh, little green uh, thing on there. Let's go do this quest, guys. All right, this should be the end of Clock Tower. That one was very easy. One quest point and 500 GP. Uh, was it worth getting the ice gloves? Fuck, oh, man, I really want to do Heroes Quest, but I need to do Dragon Slayer 1. Don't really want to do that quest, but... Mm. Let's get it out of the way. All right, for real is Elvar hard. I have one a shark, 27 prayer points, and full graceful and a whip. Do you think I can do it? Like, I genuinely don't remember doing this quest, like, ever. Like, I don't remember doing this quest. Like, is this hard? Like, I, I don't know, man. Like, I think I can do it, but might have to go bank for some food. You know what I mean? But, uh, fuck. I'm kind of fucking nervous. Like, I don't actually know if I can do this. Like, I don't have an ante anything uh, besides the shield. Does he hit at all? Like, I just pray melee? Like, what does he hit? Does he use magic or melee or... Holy shit, he's fucking raping me. Yeah, we're gonna need food, man. All right, now we are chatted up with the graceful top, the rune plate leg, you know what I'm saying? We got the main uh, overpowered super anti-fire, if that, if that even works. Um, let's see if we can even do this. I think we just pot up here, you know, pot up with the Supra Anti-Fire Potion, and let's give it a go, give it a go. Um, we're gonna hop this wall here. 
I'm not sure, do we play magic? Or I'm going to try playing magic and see what happens here. Ah, it works. Fucking main accounts, man. So overpowered now. I just need to hit. And yeah, we got our first hit in. Let's dump the spec in. Oh, main accounts, man, are so overpowered. Remember back in the day with the iron, we had to like go to the safe spot over here. Oh, this should be some easy fight. Uh, the cooking cape's coming in really clutch right now. What was that, RS3? That was a full AFK boss fight. Um, <laughs> I guess we, oh shit. Grab the head, but we didn't even use a singular piece of food. So are, is it going to just like go on the ground? Uh... <laughs> Alvark's head is on the ground. Okay. Now talk to this guy uh, by Edge Phil to complete your quest. Now the only problem with completing this quest is the fact that now I'm going to get dragons assigned for a slayer task. But anyways, here, have you slayed the dragon yet? And there we go, we have completed Dragon Slayer 1, 2 quest points, 18k strength, and 18k defense ability to wear rune equipment, and dragon play bodies. Beautiful. Um, I can buy rune equipment now, please. I guess that's what we have to click. And yeah, we can also buy the green dehyde as well, which I need the tops as well. So, 69 defense coming in, and up to 118 now. Alright, I didn't know I could make the compost potions at such a low herbal level. They're very good. You can kind of like AFK a full inventory. And they're only using Harlander potions as well. So this should be make getting 25 herbal lore super, super easy. We probably honestly have it banked with just these 100 potions. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys at 25. And just like that, 25 herb lore on the main account. We now clean Renar weed. So I'm pretty sure now... I go to i think it's called the hero's quest yeah hero's quest we have the 25 herb lore requirement so yeah this is the one i need a partner for so hopefully maybe the clan can help out i'm not sure all right there we go you have completed the hero's quest we are ordered with one quest point access to the hero's guild a total of 29 kxp spread across 12 different skills are we gonna get any levels from this at all 26 herb lore coming in 41 smithing and that's it but uh Great one to get out of the way. I'm pretty sure the Legends is the next one I want to tackle. Like long term, I guess. So we need to get a few skills. Uh, skills. We need to do Shiloh Village. We need to do 50 Thieving, 45 Herb Lore. Pretty simple. 50 Smithing as well. Pretty simple now that we have the Ice Gloves. Yeah, Shiloh Village is a little difficult, but uh, 119 quest points. God damn. Well, we've got the meme level 73 Mining. Holy, we already have 69 nuggets. This AFK mining is actually pretty insane. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, let's see. I guess we'll get the most expensive bugger out of the way, you know what I mean? The Prospector Jacket is now knocked out of the maybe. Maybe we'll go from head to toe. But, uh, yeah, we're almost actually 74 mining as well. But, uh, yeah, a decent amount has been done in this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and loving this series so much. It's really motivating to just keep me going all the time. But uh, yeah, in the next video, we will become a legend and finish the Legends quest. Not looking forward to doing that, but uh, I mean, <laughs> content, right? It's really good. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. And I will see you guys in the next video.